What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I want to talk about the Equinox asteroid. This thing is going to be huge, and if you know exactly where to look, you'll probably be able to easily spot this thing with a backyard telescope. Coming up on March 21st of 2021, this large asteroid coming in at 3,350 feet wide, nearly three quarters of a mile wide, will cross the path of planet at Earth, making the list of near-Earth asteroids over here at spaceweather.com. We'll come back and take a look at some of the specifics here in a moment. It's not going to impact the planet, but it's going to come pretty close for an asteroid of that size, and it is moving very, very fast. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first, here at the website, checking out the Schumann Resonance, looking about the same as it has been for the last few days, no Earth-facing corona holes or any major solar activity as far as that goes. No CMEs or solar flares coming towards the Earth. Hopping over here to the Space Weather Prediction Center looking at the solar spiral. No space weather coming our way from the sun. Nothing at all. Pretty quiet for the time being. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano and there have been no updates over here for a couple of days. The, the seismographs look exactly like they did yesterday. Yesterday, so not sure what's going on over there, but the graphs have not been updated since March the 11th. Today's moon phase over here at moongiant.com, 0% illumination. Today is the new moon day, March 13th of 2021. Coming over here to spaceweather.com, scroll down and look at the new updated NEO list. That would be near Earth objects. Scroll down to March 16th. You can see we've got one coming in between between the Earth and the Moon system at 0.7 LD, but it's a mere 22 meters. I mean, that's just a little over 60 feet wide, moving at 12 kilometers per second. That's around 25, 26,000 miles per hour. Scroll down to March 21st on the equinox. We've got a large one coming in. That's the one I showed you right here. 3,350 feet wide. That equates to 1,024 meters. I mean, this thing is huge. This thing is moving at a whopping 34.4 kilometers per second. That is over 76 thousand miles per hour that is over five times as fast as some of the asteroids you see on this list that are considered NEOs. This thing is not going to impact the Earth, but you can see over here at the NASA JPL, here are the coordinates of that very large asteroid that, again, is over a thousand meters, 3,350 feet wide. Right here is the path of this very large asteroid that's going to intersect the orbit of Earth. At its close approach on March 21st, the equinox, it will be 5.3 LD close enough to make it to the list of near-Earth objects. Once again, this thing is moving freakishly fast at 76,000 miles per hour, over 1,000 meters wide, 3,350. 50 feet. That is a huge asteroid. That is one of the largest I've seen on here in quite some time. And once again, if you have a decent backyard telescope and you know exactly where to look, you can probably spot this thing zipping past the planet on March 21st of 2021. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow I want to share with you guys. New sky phenomena photos and videos like this one here sent in by Carlos Skywatcher of Portugal. Yet another beautiful sunset by Carlos. You you can check out his YouTube channel link below. Here's a still image from that video. Spectacular job, Carlos. This next little video was taken out of Guadalajara, Mexico back in 2020. Even though it's about a year old, it is still very spectacular. Get a load of that horizon, would you? That is absolutely captivating. Great job. Stephanie out of Idaho noticed what looked like a small fleet of ships parked in the sky. You can see a long row of one, two, three, four. It was like five little clouds that look like ships. Steph out of Red Hill, South Carolina. Big jumbo halo around the sun. Josh K out of Chandler, Arizona. The most recent full moon from Arizona. Deborah K out of Hartlespool, United Kingdom. Another look at the full moon, this time from the UK. Here it's got some clouds in front of it. That is an awesome photo. 
by Deborah out of the United Kingdom. Nick out of Tucson, Arizona. Photo taken from Mount Lemon of the most recent full moon. Great job, guys. Mary Hall from YouTube looking down at the Earth from the International Space Station. She noticed this very unique cloud that just simply looked out of place. It almost looks like a, a giant marshmallow of some sort. Mary does not miss much. Again, you can check out her YouTube channel over at Mary Hall on YouTube. Here's that same cloud simply inverted. Here's another look at some clouds from the International Space Station. Looks like a giant Petri dish. Sid S. out of Alberta, Canada. Very wavy, low to the ground clouds. Kimmy P. out of Texas. Notice this big halo around the moon. Kathleen F. out of Moses Lake, Washington. Another fiery orange sky at sunset. Lori out of Glenwood, Iowa. Saw the same thing on a different day. Yet another fiery orange sky. Carla S. out of Nova Scotia, Canada. Another jumbo halo in the sky around the sun. Beth B. out of Hope, Arkansas. Sent in this photo of an ominous looking sky. You've got what looks like a burnt fiery orange sky with a a steeple reaching way up into the sky in the foreground and in the background you got the clouds that literally look like they're on fire amazon basin ecuador photo sent in by fausto c spectacular view of a golden sunset got the sun just peeking up above the clouds i recorded this little video segment here over at the sdo this was a solar filament that was extending some 50,000 miles off of the southeastern limb of the sun this was a few days back milwaukee oregon heather noticed a huge sun dog off to the left of the sun just dominating the horizon and that little video clip here sent in by Heather out of Milwaukee, Oregon. Big old sun dog off in the distance. Very bright, too. Oklahoma, Laura A. Got a beautiful burgundy sky. Looks like a color of wine. Marie C. out of Hammond, Ontario. More golden clouds at sunset. Look at that sky. That is absolutely spectacular. Steve K. out of Iowa. Notice this very unique bright orange cloud in the sky at sunrise visible from Iowa. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.